I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Danny Connors. Where are you from, Danny? Uh, my parents are from New Ross, County Wexford in Ireland, um, but I live in London at the moment. Well, uh, I have, uh, live in partly in London and partly in the Cotswolds. And you told me you have been over 20 times in, Me in Medjugorje. Over 20 times in Why Medjugorje. Why do you come back all the time? I feel with all my heart that um, Our Lady invites me back. I feel that when I come here, a special part of um, my body and my... That, that sounded wrong, but I mean, I feel a special in me that God says to me and Our Lady, come back again, Danny, bring your wife and children. Keep coming here. I'm here all the day. I'll be here all day, every day. I've just came back with my friends Johnny and Colleen Cash, from um, and some more of us. My son Miley and uh, Kathleen Purcell from uh, Guantelupe. Last week, we went to Our Ladies of Guantelupe in Mexico. Wow! That was amazing. It was amazing. But um, coming here, to be honest with you, is like a, a new lease of life. It's like it pushes you up and say, "Wow!" You know, there's no taste buds like it. There's no Don Perrier, no food, steak, nothing can give you the taste of Medjugorje. And what does it for me every time is to see so many people going to confession, reconciliation with God, and the, the devout that they have for Our Lady, the love they have for the Mother of God. This is what does it for me. When I see men walking around from all walks of life with their rosary. Here it is, man. Here it is. This is the greatest weapon in the world. Explain. Explain the rosary. The rosary is a weapon that no mass destruction, no United States of America, no one in the world have made anything as powerful as the blessed rosary beads. And when you're holding the rosary beads, I truly believe that I'm holding hands with Our Lady, the Mother of God. And when we pray the rosary, Our Lady is listening in. She's tuned in, she's saying, yes, my son, come on, let's hear that rosary. Get your children around. Throw out the cans of beer tonight. Just leave the wine in the fridge. Get together and pray my rosary, because there's nothing like it never was and never will be. It does it for me every time. And all my people, same, my Irish traveler, I'm from the Irish traveling community. And all my people, their love for God is striking. We done the big, um, the big mountain yesterday. And I said, I remember when I was helping my dad, it don't seem long ago, and the way the young boys was asking me, Danny, are you okay? Are you all right? Do you want to help? I said, love, the love that's here, why don't we take it home with us and share that same love back yonder, wherever we go. Take a bit of this home in our parish and share it. Amen. Amen. It's amazing, Danny. And you said you saw the lines at confession. What would you tell people? Why not to be scared to go to confession? Well, there's no scarement in it. The blessed priest have heard it all before. He've heard everything from the smallest little sin to the biggest sin. And don't forget that the priest is only a messenger from God. He's only in there for a messenger to bring that message straight direct. Jesus is in the confession box. He hears every confession. Don't be afraid. Go right back to the first confession I did. And when I can do it, believe me, anybody can. You know, I at life, when I started out in life, when I was a young boy, I was good at shoplifting. I used to go to shops and I, as if I owned at Harrods and shops. To be honest, I was, you know, I was good at my job. When I felt God in my life and my heart, I thought, you know what? I went to Lourdes for the first time when I was 15. And I had such a conversion in Lourdes. What happened? When I was in Lourdes, I went to confession. And I drained and I cried and I cried and I cried. And I was so sorry for my sins. So if I, as I say, so if I can go to confession and pr confess my sins, like I said here, there's men come here that haven't been to confession for years. I know that, and women. And then when they come out, they're just a different person. And you can see it in them. You, as soon as they walk from the confession, they walk down, they say, Hiya, Johnny. Hiya, Danny. Hiya, Colleen. Hiya, Marie. You can see the feeling they have. They're different when they walk in, when they come out of confession here in Medjugorje. <laughs> wow, what a change of life. A new lease of life. It's like the everlasting battery. No battery will see, work like that. That's the best. Okay. That's amazing. And you know, then we can go to receive the Eucharist when we are in the state of grace. Um, what is the Eucharist? People don't understand. People don't understand the Eucharist. When you receive the Eucharist in your heart and your soul and your mind, don't forget that you're receiving the body and blood going through every vein and vessel in your body, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Him, he who died for us long ago, and he paid the bill. We pay a bill to get to Medjugorje, flights, hotels, 
But he, the king of all kings, he paid the bill long ago. And when we receive him in this holy mass, we receive everything we ever want to receive. We receive the gifts of God, our Father, in our hearts and our soul. After going to confession, then receiving the body and blood of Jesus Christ. It do not get any better than that. It never has done and it never will. That is it, the body and blood of Jesus Christ for each and every one of us. Now younger people are coming. Colleen, our great sister here, is bringing more young people back to the church than ever before. All, all walks from all over the world. The video, video sends WhatsApp, sorry, from Australia, America, all over the country. And she tells them what to do, where to go right, and go to confession, go to mass. Wonderful. But tell me, why are you so passionate about Christ? I mean, you are exploding, it's a firework. It's me, he's my whole life. Nothing out there can touch me the way God can touch me. Nothing or nobody. He's everything to me. He have been since I was 15. I've always prayed my rosaries before then. Went to Mass. I came from a big Catholic family, 16 in family. My parents, Johnny and Bridie Connors, God rest them, is in heaven now. I always went to Mass my whole life. But when I know and I see other people given so much to God, I want to give that bit more. And if I see some of my friends saying something like, you know, I've been here, I've been to Lourdes, I've been to Medjugorje, I've been to Fatima. I say, thank you, God, that they had the opportunity to go there. Because, you know, we get an invitation to come here. We don't decide to come here. We get a personal invitation to come to Medjugorje. And that's what it does for us every time. My passion for God is like a child in a tie shop. A baby running around a tie shop. I want this, I want that. When I come here, I want this, I want that. I want it all. I really want it all. But you know, a lot of people, they think God the Father is an angry old man with a white beard. He wants to put us to hell when we make a mistake. No, but he's, no. How is he? You know it. No. Our Father God is a forgiven God. He's a great God. He loves us dearly with a passion. And don't be frightened of him. He loves us. He created us. We're his DNA. We belong to him. So my God and my Savior Jesus Christ, do not be afraid of him. He's not a fearful God. He's a kind, loving God. God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, bring them to your families and you'll have a new lease of life. Amen and God bless you all. Thank can, you for can listening. Can I just to me. say one more question? So interesting. What, did, what, what is so powerful about Our Lady? Our Lady is the Mother of God. We all know that. And for Jesus to love us more, go through His Mother. Go to his mother, pray to our blessed lady, Queen of the Immaculate Conception, and Jesus will say, like if you were kind to my mother, even if I didn't like you for some reason, if you were kind and good to my mommy, I would get to love you. Be kind and good to Jesus' mother, and he will be kind and good to you, as he always was and he always will be. At the end, tell why people should come here. People come here and experience it for themselves. If you've never been, please come here. Experience what I experienced long ago when there wasn't many gift shops here when I came, many hotels, and I've been coming back ever since. Come and see for yourself. Don't take Danny Connors' word for it. Just come and see for yourself what Medjugorje will do for you, your family, and all belonging to you. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. I've Thank got to go. Thank you so much. God bless you.